Hi, I'm Tony, and I'm here to help you get started with Red Eye, the exciting new personal remote control that works with your iPhone or iPod Touch. Let's begin by taking a look at what comes in the Red Eye package. We have the Red Eye base station, an international power adapter, and dock inserts for the different iPhone and iPod Touch models. First, let's snap in the dock adapter for my iPhone, and then we'll connect the power cord to the bottom of the unit. Our next step is to download the Red Eye application. You can do this from your computer or right from your iPhone. Now that we have everything we need, let's move the Red Eye over to our existing Wi Fi network. The Red Eye ships out of the box configured to create its own Wi Fi network, but I recommend making use of your home Wi Fi connection so that you can have access to the internet while using Red Eye. To access the Red Eye network, Open the Settings application. During this setup phase, iPhone users running OS 3.0 or later will want to turn on airplane mode to prevent the iPhone from jumping over to the cell network. Tap on the Wi-Fi row and ensure that Wi-Fi is on. Select the Red Eye network from the list. Now that we are on the Red Eye network, let's launch the Red Eye application. Here, we land on the Rooms screen, which is where you can connect to any Red Eye systems you have installed. From the main setup screen, we can select our new Red Eye room. If you'd like, you can give it a name. I'll call this one Family Room. Next, tap on the network row. Red Eye will scan for available Wi Fi networks. Select the network of your choice. Enter your password. Enter it a second time for verification and save your changes. The Red Eye app will remind you that in order to connect to the Red Eye again, you will need to change your iPhone's network settings. So let's do that now. Exit the Red Eye app, open Settings, turn off Airplane Mode, and choose your home network. Now we're ready to start configuring our home theater. The Red Eye app organizes your home theater into devices, commands, and activities. A device is a piece of equipment that you control, such as a TV or stereo. A command is a signal that you send to a device, such as power on or play. Activities offer a powerful, intuitive, and simple way to control many devices at once. We'll talk more about them in a minute. Let's start by creating a device. First, let's open up the Setup tab again and select Family Room. Family Room includes a list of all devices and activities we have configured to use there. Since we don't have anything yet, let's choose Add New Device. Here's where the Internet comes in. An important part of the Red Eye system is an extensive online database of infrared commands that you can download to your Red Eye. However, in order to access this database, you need a Wi-Fi network connected to the Internet. Our first step in adding a device is to identify the manufacturer. I have a Vizio TV, so I'll choose Vizio from the list. Next, you can choose the appropriate device type. Finally, give your new device a name so you can identify it. I'll call this one TV. When you hit the Save button, the Red Eye searches through the online database for infrared codes that match the manufacturer and device type you have specified. Sometimes there are a few different options, so you may get back a list of possibilities. You can tap on each item in the list to test a command. Once you have found a set of codes that works for your device, you can click Save to download the remainder of the codes and install them on your Red Eye device. This can take a couple of minutes. What happens if codes for your device are not in the database, or if you need to add or change a command or two? Red Eye has a built-in learning feature that allows you to capture the signal from an existing remote. To teach your Red Eye a new command, first select, or create, the device that you want to control. Next, tap on the Add New Command row. 
With your old remote in hand, tap on the Capture Control Signal button to put your red eye into learning mode. Point your old remote toward the front of the red eye and press the appropriate button. Once you have captured the signal, you can test it to ensure that it works properly. Since this is the pause command, I'll choose that command type from the list. Everything else looks good here, so I'll click Save. With devices and commands in place, we are ready to create some activities. Activities are a central part of what makes Red Eye so powerful because they group together different devices around the way that you actually use them, not just the way that you buy them at the store. For example, many home theater systems now include five, six, seven or more devices. In the past, if you wanted to watch a DVD, you would have to turn on your TV, turn on your DVD player, turn on your sound system, and tune the TV and the sound system to the appropriate input for watching a DVD. And that's before you even put a disc in the player. With Red Eye Activities, one tap on your iPhone does all this for you. It even gives you a customizable button layout specific to watching a DVD. Creating an activity is simple. From Room Setup, tap on the Add New Activity row. Choose the activity type. I'll create a Watch DVD activity. Select the devices you use with this activity. In my case, that is the TV and the DVD player. And tap Save. Next, Red Eye will propose a list of actions that you take when you launch and shut down your activity. Typically, these involve turning on or off the power to your devices. When I watch a DVD, I need to switch the TV to the component input, so I'll add that now. Once your launch and shutdown actions are in place, tap the Save button to finish creating your activity. Red Eye will put together a button layout for you, which you can then customize. For example, I'll add a subtitle button because I sometimes watch foreign language movies. Tap on the plus icon to add a button. Select the device and the command for the button action. Tap Save. Move the button into position. Red Eye will help you align the button with others on your screen. When a button appears with a red outline, Red Eye is telling you that it could not find an appropriate command for that button. You can choose a command by tapping on the button details icon. Here you can customize many different button properties, such as its name and icon, whether it plays back a single command or a list of commands, whether pressing and holding the button causes it to repeat, and more. Red Eye has many other advanced features. I think you'll enjoy being able to flip through DVD chapters with a flick of a wrist or add macro buttons to jump to your favorite TV channels. Regular software updates delivered free through iTunes means that your Red Eye experience will continue to improve over time. Enjoy!